Hey guys, this is Eric with Mediavine, and this is our weekly video series, Go for Teal. This week we wanted to talk to you about robots.txt, uh, in particular what it is and how it's going to apply to you as a publisher with advertisers on your site. Uh, so robots.txt, what is it? So it's a plain text file you're going to upload to your site, and it's going to tell crawlers such as Google which pages of your site they can index. Uh, so really, the way that Google works is it's going to go to your site, it's going to read the links on a page, then it's going to follow each of those links. It's going to read each of those pages and then follow those links, which is kind of where you hear the term robots as described as spiders, because they're really crawling the web. Uh, very witty, we know. So what can you use robots.txt to do? So when Google first comes to your page, they're going to check, do you have a robots.txt file? They're going to download that, and that's going to give them a set of instructions. It's basically going to tell them which pages they can and cannot index. And Google is a good player, so they're going to listen to those instructions. And they're going to not index pages you tell them not to. Some examples of this is maybe you tell them, don't index my admin page or other pages with sensitive information that you don't want to appear in Google search results. Okay, great. This sounds awesome, right? So what's the problem with robots.txt? Well, the thing is, a lot of people think, if I can tell robots to not go to certain parts of my site, couldn't I do this to stop bot traffic? We commonly see that here at Mediavine. So a lot of people often put on their robots.txt file to disallow indexing uh, by everyone but Googlebot, thinking, okay, so Google can come crawl my page, but all the bad guys can't. Here's the problem. As I mentioned before, Google, the first thing they do when they get to their site, your site is they download that robots.txt. And they're actually making a conscious choice to not index those pages because they're following your instructions. That's because they're a good actor or a good player here in this scenario. The bad guys or bot traffic, they don't have to download the robots.txt file, and in fact, they won't. They're just going to come to your site, and they're going to do what they were planning on doing. So here's the problem. If you end up putting up a robots.txt file, and you are blocking crawlers from browsing your site, you're actually going to be blocking the crawlers of a bunch of advertisers. So a lot of advertisers, in particular contextual advertisers, are going to want to browse your site to figure out the keywords that you're writing about. So for example, if you're writing about sugar, a diabetes uh, medicine is not going to want to advertise on your site. Conversely, if you're writing about using flour, maybe a flour company like King Arthur Flour does want to advertise on your site. So they want those keywords. Some good examples would be Google AdSense. So Google AdSense is actually one of the biggest buyers here at Mediavine uh, through the Google Ad Exchange program. So Google AdSense is one of the most infamous uh, contextual advertisers. And if you are blocking all crawlers besides Googlebot, you're actually going to be blocking the Google AdSense crawler. So Google AdSense runs a different crawler than Google Search Engine, which is Googlebot. So you might inadvertently be blocking uh, all of Google AdSense from browsing your page. There's a lot of other smaller tier players, such as Grapeshot, Peer39, and uh, Media.net that all do contextual, and there's so many more. We've seen some of our publishers end up accidentally blocking these crawlers, hurting their CPMs by 25 to 50 percent. Uh, so this can be really seriously impacting your bottom line. Uh, that's how important a lot of these advertisers are. So what we implore you to do here at Mediavine is if you don't know what you're doing with your robots.txt file, just keep it blank. Uh, we're going to provide a template at the bottom of the blog post associated with this video that gives you a pretty good, easy-to-use uh, robots.txt file. You should just have your tech person help you with this. And bottom line, if you don't know what you're doing in that file, you're going to cause a lot more harm than good. Uh, so just let the smart crawlers figure out what they're doing. Don't try to use robots.txt for what it wasn't intended to do. Uh, please don't use it to try to stop bots or trying to stop bad actors. Use it to tell the good actors or Google what they can and can't crawl. Uh, so thank you for listening to this week's robots.txt uh, installment of Go for Teal, and I will see you next week. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.